Precision Enhancer Kilohertz is a sophisticated tool with a simple control set, primarily designed to bring dull or poorly recorded tracks to life. However, with five distinct enhancement modes, the Precision Enhancer Kilohertz will find uses on virtually any source. It can be used to minimally massage the middle and upper frequencies of a mix, or drastically alter the presence or dynamics of individual tracks or groups. Unlike other enhancers that function by frequency delay or filtered clipping, the Precision Enhancer Kilohertz works on specialized techniques of equalization and dynamic expansion that can be used as a highly versatile effect. The five modes, A, B, C, D, and All mode, present various control configurations to support the widest array of source material. The sensitivity control acts as a mix control or an input fader, depending on the mode. Also, the mode-dependent sweepable filter adjusts what frequency the enhancer is focusing on. The expander's release can be adjusted to either fast or slow via the speed button, giving a greater range of dynamic and or frequency enhancement. Finally, the Precision Enhancer Kilohertz includes an output control with metering to compensate for gain changes created by the effect. There are a lot of tricks you can do with the Precision Enhancer. I'm going to go through all the modes on a few different instruments and samples. Now keep in mind, most of these examples are pretty extreme for demo purposes, as I want to make sure you can really hear the effect. In this first example, I'm using the Precision Enhancer on a drum kit. I've got the drums split into two buses, one dry and one with the Precision Enhancer. And I've actually got the bus with the Enhancer set at a higher level. Now I'll solo the drums. I'm starting out in mode D which passes the audio through an expander and then through a fixed set of filters in parallel. As I turn up the sensitivity control, I get more of the effect. And this meter here shows the activity of the expander. The more expansion I have, the more I need to turn down the output gain. The all mode is similar but the filters emphasize the high and low frequencies even more. Changing the release from slow to fast lets the expander recover faster, which gives more punch to the transients. Now let's bring the rest of the band in. Mode C is also very useful on drums. In this case, the dry drums are mixed louder than the processed drums. In Mode C, the sweepable filter is applied to the expander's output. Just turn up the sensitivity and sweep the frequency control until you enhance what you want. In this case, the crack of the snare. It works almost like a transient designer with a frequency selection. Now let's bring the band back in. Mode C also works great on background vocals. In this case, they were recorded pretty flat, but the precision enhancer really adds some life. Mode B is a fixed set of filters, and the filtered audio is mixed in with a dry signal according to the sensitivity control. It works great on vocals. The funk 
is you dancing next to me blues in black harmony the funk is you dancing next to me The Precision Enhancer is also great for processing samples and loops. In this example, I'm using the Enhancer on this synth sample in mode C and I'm sweeping the frequency control. You can also do this with automation. I'm also using an LA-2A to control the levels when the amplitude increases. Mode A is like Mode B, but you can sweep the frequency. It works very well brightening up this Rhodes piano. <laughs> 